of Appleton is looking to make the area more dog friendly. A new survey is asking people to give their thoughts on ways to give tail waggers and their owners a little more freedom to roam. In a first alert update, Samantha Cavalli hears from pup owners about the proposal. For many dog owners, their pets are like family and they want to bring their dogs to more places as the weather gets warmer. That's why Appleton Downtown is asking for your input on how to make downtown Appleton more dog friendly. Dog owner Shelby Holbert says she loves to bring her dog everywhere she can. She took the survey this morning and thinks having more dog friendly places to go would be beneficial for her pet and others. It'd be super exciting to be able to bring him to more places where I can socialize him, work with him, and just have him with me. We're seeing this evolution of, of how people are using downtown and enjoying it. And we want to make sure that, that we're following the needs and being responsive to that. Jennifer Stefani with Appleton Downtown Inc. says the increase in people living downtown prompted her organization to put out this survey. Since it was pushed to social media yesterday, there have been well over 1,000 responses. Stefani says they are looking at what elements would make downtown more dog friendly, from things like more water stations to allowing dogs at certain outdoor events. Stefani says all voices are welcome. It's really like how do you create an off leash experience for a dog within the downtown corridor? There are currently a handful of stores and restaurants that are dog friendly in downtown, which Holbert says she has visited. She hopes this survey will open more doors to businesses opening their doors to dogs. I just think it's great to, you know, have them with us and open it up to the community and say like, hey, yeah, you can bring your friends and your family and your kids. Let's start bringing in dogs and, you know, make life even more enjoyable for them. The survey should take between five to 10 minutes to fill out. If you would like to provide your feedback, you can click on the link on our website, WBAY.com. Reporting in Appleton, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News. And once this preliminary survey wraps up, another more detailed one will be available for people to respond to. And from all of those responses, they'll bring the data gathered to the city partners to potentially implement those findings.